James managed to trick Mick Carter, Danny Dyer, into giving up the Queen Vic, which he revealed he would turn into a block of luxury flats. Much to the disappointment of the Walford residents, Max Branning, Jake Wood, was in on it the whole time too, but he eventually got his comeuppance when Kosh Kazami, David Gadami, smacked him in the face. East Enders cast member James relished in the fact his plan had worked out and gloated in front of the entire square. January 3rd, then out, he told Mick. Now what part of that don't you understand? James added, It's a shame to see all this go dot demolished. A new block of flats with luxury living. Dot you can't do that. Linda Carter, Kelly Bright, snap dot James replied, Oh believe me we can. Dot well, it appears viewers were on the side of Linda with this one. East Enders fans wondered how James was able to act out his evil plan without anyone uncovering it, especially with planning permission laws. Soon viewers headed to Twitter to call out the loophole. As if they could just turn it into flats. They have to get planning permission first, such a far-fetched story. One fan tweeted. Surely all new developments need planning approval, how have the residents not been consulted? Another added. And a third viewer asked, why has the council not stuck up orange planning application signs in the square? Elsewhere, Ben Mitchell, Harry Reid, was in hospital following a savage beating from his ex Luke Browning, Adam Astell. His mum and dad Phil Mitchell, Steve McFadden, and Kathy Beale, Jillian Tailforth, rushed to his side, while Phil plotted his revenge.